So you don't know which one is the slow step. Uh, there's not really a good assumption you can make. So first of all, I got to figure out, well, which rate do I want to solve for to find the rate law? So I want to solve for rate one or two. Two, that's the one that makes the products. So that's K2 times C. Now I want an expression for C because C is my intermediate and it shouldn't be in my final answer. Then you'll notice the way I set this one up. Uh, the, the way I set this one up, I don't even have a reversible reaction. So I can't use that trick that the forward of one equals the reverse of the other. So I have to use my PSSH. Uh, and the rate of appearance equals the rate of disappearance. Or the rate of production equals the rate of reaction. So where is C produced? Reaction 1. And it's disappearing or reacting in reaction 2. So uh, there's a couple ways you could do this. One, I'll, I'll try this way. K1 times A times B equals K2 times C. Uh, there's no reaction one reverse. That's a great question. Why not? I didn't put a double-headed arrow here. So you're not allowed to do that unless you see the arrow. Okay? Okay. Question? Oh. oh. Sorry. If it said specifically that the second step was the slow step, then even if there was no reversible sign, would you assume so? No, you no. cannot. Okay. So, uh, that would be an example that's kind of outside this, the second category that we usually have with the second one's a slow step. Because usually in those situations, you have the first one is reversible. Oh, okay. That would really be solved in the same way. Okay. You'd have to solve it this way as well. Because for that kind of problem, you need the first step to be reversible. Uh, the only reason I didn't make the first one first of all, I didn't even think about it. So, but that's okay. It's still solvable. Notice that this equals this. So the answer is K1 A B. And A and B are not intermediate, so I'm good to go. Is that all right, Gabby? Yeah. Okay. You.